Okay, it's the last week in June, and for the past month, we've celebrated pride in the LGBTQ community. Today, Mayor Melvin Carter proclaimed its Stonewall Uprising 50th anniversary day in the city of St. Paul. It's because of that, 50 years since Stonewall, that's added special meaning to pride this year. So tonight, Adrian brings us a story about a local pastor whose church is deeply connected to Stonewall. The leader of that Minneapolis congregation no longer struggles to speak his truth while encouraging members of the LGBTQ community never to rest on their laurels. No struggle now. Uh, I say it proudly, I say it often. I am a gay man, uh, a gay man who uh, has uh, embraced what I believe to be uh, the truth that I am loved by and beloved of God. When was the first time you said, I'm gay? The first time I said it to myself was age 14. The first time I said it to someone else was age 19. I am the pastor of All God's Children Metropolitan Community Church in Minneapolis. All God's Children is special because this uh, may be the first church that was intentionally formed and planted for a ministry to LGBTQ people in 1974. Your church was formed about four to five years after the uprising of Stonewall. That's exactly right. Uh, we're part of a, a denomination that was founded a year before Stonewall. Metropolitan Community Churches was founded by Troy Perry in California. He was thrown out of his church when they found out he was gay. The riots at the Stonewall Inn, an illegal gay bar, inspired LGBTQ supporters to stand up and challenge stereotypes while paving the way for equality. Before Stonewall, uh, our churches, our government, our law depended on shame and stigma to control and to hide us. After Stonewall, especially a year after Stonewall, that pride parade, that first pride parade in New York and in Los Angeles was to say to the world that we are no longer going to hide in silence, in shame, and in stigma. Uh, more than that, we're going to bear witness with our bodies that we are worthy of inclusion fully. But Pastor Dwayne Davis says, as you celebrate pride, don't disconnect from history. That's what pride means to us, that we continue to bear witness that we are worthy of full inclusion in every sector of the society, including the church and the law in our families. You're visible. Visible. We have to be very much prepared for a backlash. Uh, in all of the gains that we have made. And we, we, can't, we can't rest on the victories that we've got. If you're curious as to who the first person Pastor Davis said he was gay to at the age of 19, it was the person that is now his partner. They've been together nearly 28 years.